here we go. It's been a long time since I've run this line. And it's, it's really hard on me because I'm so damn old, you know. But I've got the desire to still do it, you know. There are some basic skills we all need to survive. It's not about coming from the streets or not, but it's important to learn skills that could make you escape a firefight, minor accident, robbery, and other unforeseen circumstances. Skills like climbing, tanning, tracking, and hunting, amongst others, are what you could learn from Discovery's Mountain Man. Imagine going camping and you can't perform basic skills like hunting. Isn't that a waste of your holidays? Mountain Man provides more than value to its viewers. And it is not just the essential skills and tips shared that make the show wonderful. It is the people presenting them. The personality, charisma, and knowledge of the people presenting a show determine how well the show will do on the charts. Mountain Man ranked well on the charts, all thanks to TV personality Tom Orr and other important cast, but honor has to be given to whom it is due. Tom Orr is that guy. Tom Orr is one of the beloved cast members of Mountain Men, and that is why we are here to give you an update about what really happened to the former rodeo cowboy. Let's dig in. I've got to get enough of a fire going to kind of warm the ground up so it don't put off too much condensation. It could actually ruin the hide. Mountain Men debuted in May 2012, and Tom Orr, who has an affinity for wildness skills, joined right from inception. Tom Orr resided in the Yak River in northwestern Montana with his family, including his wife, Nancy, and their dog, Ellie. Right from Discovery Channel's official website, you would understand what the show entails. From the website, a welcome caption about mountain men reads, Winter is loosening its grip on the mountains of North America, but that doesn't mean life here is getting any easier. As thaw begins and rivers start to swell, with raging runoff, new opportunities open up for the mountain men to stockpile supplies, grow their food, and fortify their homesteads. When Tom moved to Montana, he took up the hobby of brain training, a labor-intensive process that uses animal brains to tan hides. That's what the Native Americans did before the white man came here to this country, Tom explained. I mean, that's what clothing was made with, brain tanned deer skin mostly. In an interview with American Cowboy, the trapper added the technique, brain tanned buckskin is so far superior to any commercial stuff they're making nowadays. It's a completely different thing. If you hold it up to your lips, you can blow through it. That makes it comfortable to wear. Body perspiration evaporates through it and keeps you cool. Tom knows his lifestyle isn't for everyone and believes he was born 150 to 200 years too late. I always thought of the past in history. I've kind of relived it in a modern way, he shared, before hinting at his plans to retire. It's just Nancy and me in an old Dodge pickup and 30-foot chain. We can't keep doing this forever. I keep telling Nancy one of these days you'll probably find me stretched out dead over the fleshing block. We'd say Florida is a much better alternative. By the way, would you voluntarily wish to live off the grid in this modern age of technology, surviving on what nature has to offer and your skills? I know many will answer no, but some people are willing to do this, and yes, they enjoyably live in the wilderness. Tom Orr and his family are a perfect example. They have been featured since the show commenced, so it is only important that fans raise the alarm when Tom Orr suddenly disappears from the show. Tom Orr's disappearance from the show during the ninth episode of the reality show shows fans are extremely concerned about him maybe due to his age. Whichever one it is, we are sure questions like, what happened to Tom Orr? Where is Tom Orr now? Did Tom Orr leave the show? Must be troubling your mind. But to put your mind at rest, we've got you covered. During the final episodes of the ninth season, Tom Orr disappeared from Mountain Men, and many fans think the worst has happened. Why? Among the Mountain Men, there are lion hunters. Could that be what you're thinking? Well, Tom Orr wasn't eaten by a lion. There are bear hunters, but keep calm. The bears didn't attack Tom Orr. There are cast members that are exceptionally good at setting traps and hunting games. And as you would guess from my answer, Tom Orr wasn't caught in any trap. So what really happened? First and foremost, Tom Orr is hale and healthy. Man has been keeping himself fit from inception. Going through those rigorous activities in the wilderness would only toughen one up and not the other way around. Tom Orr is a skilled hunter and survivalist. So thinking he would be lost to the paws and claws of animals is demeaning to his years of experience. Man has been surviving without technology, modern luxuries, and processed food, just the harsh winters of Montana season after season. Tom Orr's advancing age also gave fans concerns. It's one thing to be able to survive in the wilderness, and it's another to be able to run at a fast speed because of a fire or animal attack. Tom's age made fans speculate that he won't last long enough on the show, but Tom kept appearing season after season before his disappearance in season 9. Even though it's been quite some years since his wife moved to Florida, away from the wilderness lifestyle, Tom keeps coming back to feature on the show. 
Tom's last appearance on the show, The Big Reckoning, where he tested a handmade canoe and celebrated his 77th birthday, showed where Tom Orr hinted fans about his retirement plans. He said he was getting old, but he was not ready to leave the rugged lifestyle of Montana soon. But after that episode, he disappeared. His disappearance after the brief talk of the show during his birthday made some fans think Tom quietly left the show. But there's no indication that the Illinois-born trapper and survivalist is leaving the series. What then happened to his disappearance? Is it possible that Tom Orr was at his home in Florida to spend time with his family when the other episodes of season 9 were shot and he wasn't on the ground to feature in them? That could be the only explanation for Tom Orr's disappearance, as neither Tom nor Channel nor the show's producers came out to address the issue publicly. Also, Tom Orr's name still appears in the cast member list, meaning Tom is still very much a Mountain Men cast member. This is just a part of Tom Orr's story. The second story, as reported by Distractify, shows Tom has hung up his boots for good. Distractify made it known that after years of battling the elements in Montana's remote Yak River Valley, Tom Orr was reportedly considering hanging up his hunting traps and moving on to warmer climates. Specifically, there were reports that Tom and his partner Nancy had decided to move to Florida, although it seems the move was only for Tom's partner as he was absent during the shooting of some episodes in Season 9. Tom wasn't just mentally prepared to leave where he had been staying for more than 30 years. Tom once said in an interview that he had spent half of his age living in the Yak River Valley, despite the harsh weathers. The older he's gotten, the more challenges Tom has faced in the secluded region, which is located near the Idaho border. Also in a recent interview, he also complained about an increasing lack of privacy due to mountain men's popularity. We live out here in the woods. We live four miles from the British Columbia border and about 15 miles east of the Idaho Panhandle. We live in the middle of the Kootenai National Forest. We had over 300 people that came to our house last summer to take our picture and shake our hand," he told Allegheny Mountain Radio. We had honeymooners here two years ago from Switzerland. Tom has said severally that he doesn't love running into enthusiastic trespassers on his private property. It's not certain if Tom is still actively involved in Mountain Men, but as things stand, his name is still part of the cast, and none of the show's producers and Discovery have penned a goodbye message to him. Tom Orr hasn't made any strong statement about his absence on the show, but he has been making public appearances since he left. In February 2019, he attended a meet and greet in the Western Virginia sports show in Fisherville. The fans are really important to me, and that's really neat to meet all the different people and talk to him. There's always something of interest, and there's always interesting people to meet. There's no doubt that Tom has had an eventful life, harvesting your own food, finding basic amenities for yourself, and no technology is quite strenuous, to say the least. Tom said, Half of my life was spent with a rodeo career. I rode bucking horses for 25 years, and I rode bulls for 18 years. It seems Tom was born for the wilderness lifestyle, and he is living it like a king. Surviving in the wilderness and teaching basic skills isn't as profitable as others, even though the pay cast members receive will depend on how well the show does. All and sundry love mountain men, and Tom Orr made a living out of it. He was estimated to be around worth $200,000 as of 2022. Agreed, we all miss Tom Orr on Mountain Men, but would you love to see him back considering his age, or do you think he should hang his boots for good?